know. They are very active against your deen and they are very active in this world. So you don't, be, don't get deceived. But our Khalil, it's a little enjoyment. We have granted them this little enjoyment. Let them feel very great for some, for some time. Summa Babahum Jahannam. Then you know their destination is Jahannam, the hell. Babes al Mehad, and it's a very evil resting place. La kenil lazina takor On the contrary, those who had the real taqwa for their Lord, they had the correct regard for their Allah. Lahum jannatun tajri min taqil al haru khalid min fiha. For them are those gardens underneath which rivers will be flowing. Nuzulam min indillah. And this is going to be the first, you know, when there is a guest, if he comes to you, whenever he enters your house, you present something, some cold drink, some hot drink, according to the weather, season, and then you prepare for the feast, real feast, that is called Zayafa. The first thing offered to a guest is Nuzul in Arabic. These, there are two words, Nuzul, the first offering to any, anybody who has come to you, to the guest, the first offering. And then you prepare the feast for him. That is Zayafa. Actually, whatever has been said in Quran about Jannah, that is Nuzul. That is only the first offering that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be offering to the, ahli, to the people who believe. The real Zayafa, nobody knows. We can't even dream of it. And this is the hadith. The Prophet said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the real you know, blessings of Jannah and enjoyments of Jannah are those مَا لَا عَيْنٌ رَاتْ وَلَا عُذُنٌ سَمِعَتْ وَمَا خَطْرَ عَلَىٰ قَلْبِ بَشَرْ Which no eye has ever seen, no ear has ever heard, and of which no idea has ever come to the mind or heart of any person. And Quran itself says in Surah Al-Sajda, فَلَا تَعْلَمُ نَفْسٌ مَا أُفِيَ لَهُ فَلَا تَعْلَمُ نَفْسٌ مَا أُفِيَ لَهُ مِنْ قُرَّةَ عَيُنْ But we have hidden for them, nobody knows it. لَا تَعْلَمُ نَفْسٌ مَا أُفِيَ لَهُ مِنْ قُرَّةَ عَيُنْ جَزَامْ بِمَا كَانُوا يَفْعَلُونَ That is going to be the real reward, but we can't understand it. In this life, you know, our understanding is limited. Only we can understand, you know, this is something, this is milk, very good. And this is uh, shahad, what is it, honey, very good. And so those, these things, you know, they will be the just first offering. That is going to be the first nuzul, nazil, you know, who nazala, who has come down from his horse, from his camel, nazala. Just he came down from his camel or horse and entered your house, he is nazil. When he is with you, living with you, he is zayf, zayf is guest. And nazil is the newcomer. Who has just entered, and Nuzul is the first offering to the to the to the uh, to, to person who has come to you. This is all Nuzul min indillah. Wa ma indallahi khairun lil abrar. What is with Allah is much better than all these things for those who are the pious ones and really righteous ones. Wa inna min ahlil kitab. Now again, you know, because it is, as I told you, a summary. To sum up the whole thing, because in this surah, Ahlul Kitab have been also discussed and they have been addressed. And among these people of the book, there are people who really believe in Allah and who really believe in what was sent down to them. And which has been sent down to you, O Muslims, and whichever was sent down to them. Khashreena lillah. They humble themselves before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. La yashtaruna bi ayati Allah samanan qalila. And they don't purchase or accept. In exchange for the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, little gains. Ulaika lahum ajruhum inna rabbihim. For them their reward is secure with their Lord. Inna Allah sariyu al-hisab. Verily, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is very swift at reckoning. Now this ayah, if it relates to the people who had not as yet accepted Islam, 
This is actually to encourage the right thinking people among the Ahle, Ahle Kitab. If they were hesitant, to encourage them. So that they find courage to say it openly. There were so many people who knew, who, who, who had recognized Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that he is the, the one who, who, for whom we were waiting. But there was reluctance. But there was God fearing also. So, you know, this struggle between good and bad goes on within a, the heart of a person. But if he gets some support, our support, to have courage and say it out, so it can mean most of the Mufassirin think that this I relate only to those people who accepted Islam from the Jews or the Christians. This I relate to them. But I have an idea that even those who have not accepted it up till now, but they have, you know, in their mind sincerity, in their heart sincerity. So this I am encouraging them. And we have found in this very surah, you know, Lesu Sava. All these people, you know, of the book, they are not equal. We have, you know, read those ayat in this surah. So this ayah, I think, relates to that type of ayat. The last ayah is very profound for the Muslims now. Ya ayu al-ladina manusmeru wa sabiru wa rabitu wa taqullaha la'alla kuntu fihur. Oh, you who believe, have patience and perseverance, number one. Excel. Your enemies in patience, they are also sacrificing their lives. They sacrifice 70 of their lives at Badr. So you have to excel their, their in sacrifice and sabr. Not only having sabr yourself, your sabr should be more than the sabr of your, of your opponents and enemies. Ismeru, wasabiru. Sabr is, you know, you have patience and perseverance, and you have to excel the enemies and the opponents in their sabr. Warabitu and be steadfast, or it can mean support each other, strengthen each other for the cause of Allah. Wattakullah. And lastly, and last but not the least, have the real regard for Allah. Have real taqwa of Allah. La Allah so that you can have the real salvation and real success. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala include us all among them. بارك الله لي ولكم في القرآن العظيم ونفعني وإياكم بالآيات بالذكر الحكيم الله أكبر الله أكبر